Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here with the biggest part of the Honeybee Acres family so far, the Busby Farmhouse. I went to about six different Walmarts trying to find one that had this in stock. It is already sold out online, which is so unfortunate because this thing is a great deal because it is $50, that is it. Uh, this box is my whole, uh, my whole recording area is 48 inches wide. This box is at least, is at least 30 inches wide. And I'm pretty sure this is folded. So it's going to be twice that width. So, uh, looking at the box art, it is really nice. Let's get you a little closer. So we can see we co it comes with an adult bed, which is like a double bed. Uh, it comes with a toddler bed or crib, and then a little twin size bed over there. Uh, so this does come with three beds plus a dining room table, which we noticed was mysteriously absent from all of our furniture packs as long as as well as the bedroom stuff it does come with a, another little love seat couch which is good because i may move this one into the cottage and move the uh, other stuff that came in the living room pack into this living room but we'll see how much room there is in there once we actually get this open it does come with two exclusive figures. That's a dad and a uh, daughter. They're very cute. It does advertise itself as over 50 pieces right over here. And down here at the bottom of the box, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me adjust that. It does say contains 76 pieces. So we can assume the house is at least one piece. So 75 pieces total. It does have a view of it folded up here on the front. It's got a cute porch that wraps all the way around it. I'm very excited to see what this looks like out of the box. Um, let's take a look at the back of this. I do have to pull it really close to, there's a better uh, view of that little picture right here, the Busby Farmhouse. This is very cute packaging. Uh, there's no windows cut out like the other ones. So here it is. Let's see if we can get that far enough back so you can actually see all the detail. My ring light is not cooperating. Right at this moment. To where I want it. Um, so it does fold up. And this is a handle on top which is really nice. It does kind of stick with that farmhouse aesthetic. Uh, and then it does advertise the other furniture packs that are on, that are available. And it does show them in the rooms that they would go in. And so we do have over 50 pieces. Uh, so it does look like it's counting the mattresses as independent pieces. So it's not as many pieces as we want, but it's still good. And a bunch of those are gonna be these little pillows that we have but it does look kind of cool that these stairs are detachable, which I like, and so is this uh, ladder. So we will get this open here in a minute. I just want to look at this again. Uh, so this is Grandpa Sam, is the character that's in this one, the adult character. So Grandpa Sam is so excited to have his granddaughter Ruby stay with him for the summer. Ruby loves having her own bedroom on the top floor, but most of all, Ruby loves sitting with her grandpa on the porch swing, talking and waiting for the fireflies to appear at dusk. So this is really just idealizing the South, and I kind of love it. Uh, so I'm going to look at this box a little closer, trying to figure out how it opens. It looks like it opens from the top now that I'm looking at it, but I'm still not 100% sure. Because I, oh, no, there's some, no, there's some on the side. So let's see if I can get all of this tape in one go on the side. Um, 
again, I'm sorry I'm showing this. This box takes up the majority of my uh, of my area that I use for fun. So we do have half of this, so it does look like there is some assembly required. Uh, we've got a lot of our furniture in a bag that I just pulled out. I see our curtain rods. Uh, and then, let's see about this. That's what was holding on to these, is this little latch here on the top was holding all that stuff in there. So what we're going to do, take this box out of here. Okay, so there is an instruction manual. And then, so it doesn't look too complicated, thankfully. Uh, but we are going to have to put some stuff together. There's lots of boxes, or not boxes really so much as uh, little cardboard partitions, really. going to do is we're going to treat so this is the back of the house and this is the front of the house so let's take one of these partitions and get it out of the way so we've got grandpa joe grandpa joe right here and Ruby. Uh, she was actually in there backwards. Her outfit is actually on backwards. I'll fix that later. A little weird that that passed uh, quality control though. But we have our guys over there. And then let's try to open all of these packages because it does not show you that there is a right way to open them we're just going to take them all out okay so i've got some dark brown pieces we've got these for the deck and we do have our two uh, front windows so that's kind of cool these are their own individual pieces which is kind of nice um, let's see is there anything else that has to go on before we do that? No, that looks like it's uh, an easy assembly. So we're going to snap these in. Okay, those go in real quick. There's a little peg here on the top that you kind of got to align. And then they just snap in like that. Um, and then what we don't have is the big floor part. I think that's in this part right here. I think that's in this box, which would make sense because it's the largest of the boxes. When it comes to assembly, there's a lot of parts where I'm just like, I don't know if I need to show you guys all of this, but I like to show you 
just to make sure I'm being transparent and show you that it's not as frustrating as I make it sound. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so that's everything that was in that one. I think this is our main floor. Yeah, that looks like that. Yeah, because that one has a no sticker part because it's the tile part. So this is going to be the top part of our, or the bottom part of our main house. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up these pegs as best we can, if we can. These pegs look a little short, actually. All right, guys. So we're supposed to be able to get these into there. Oh, it's because I'm forgetting about the front porch. That's why. That's why those holes don't line up. Okay. Again, you just kind of got to put these holes into there, put the pegs into the holes to balance out our, uh, our little area. So that's how that goes on. Okay. And so now I need the latch and the other part for the porch, which I'm guessing is in here, because it's the only other part that's open. Because this is all furniture, which I'm actually going to set it down here underneath me, because I don't really have the room that I know for this. Okay, so we've got the handle that we're going to slide on there. We've got another floor panel. Here's what we need to put on the front. And we've got our uh, our deck supports, and then we've got some of these. So all of our boxes, all of our interior boxes, are now open. Um, so let's see which pieces exactly we need for the front. Um, okay, so we do need the handle, which just slides in. Here. Let me make sure that this goes in exactly the right way. There we go, right there. There we got that. Okay. And then we need the these pieces, which go into the floor and also into the house, which is nice. Again, floor and house. And then we've got the front porch covering which has got a lot of moving pieces, and I can't really get a good angle on it, other than to say that it's gonna need to go on these porch pieces first. But I may have to, I may have to move the camera over. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna move the camera, guys. because I don't have the room to work with this right this minute. 
Okay. Y'all should still have a pretty good view of me. Uh, if you catch me in the video, just ignore me, please. <laughs> I try not to put myself in these videos. Just because it's about the toys, not about me. And so that is how the front porch looks when it's fully assembled. Uh, it's very cute. Um, and then from there, we turn it around because we gotta put our second story in. Again, look at that pretty wallpaper. And that is a cardboard piece that's not a sticker. So that should hold up long-term, which I really appreciate. Um, and so I'm going to get these. I'm pretty sure these are the right color. Yeah. Uh, oh, I somehow went high on this side. Right there. And then we put these into there. Again, just being kind of careful of these floors. And then what we do is we take this little piece and we've got two little holes up here where these lights go. And these are cute little lights, like, they're very actually, like, semi-functional looking. And they just kind of slide in there. Uh, not a whole lot of tension in those. They'll probably fall out if you're not careful with them. Uh, and that is it for the front of the house. So again, we do have this handle built in. Again, you guys will see the hinge. We're gonna connect that here in a bit. Uh, we've got doors that go in between. And we are going to get the back of the house assembled now. And unfortunately, this does not really like to sit flush with me. There we go, because it wasn't in that little pin all the way. Uh, so this little part can be kind of tricky to stick on, as you guys just witnessed. Um, so let's look at the back of the house, which is over here. This is gonna be our dining room and the bathroom and the little offshoot side part. So we do have a, um, a flush side. This side is slightly smaller than the others. I do like that they leave little pinholes and there's not glass in these windows, so you can actually use the window sills to uh, push down into the platform. And again, this is cardboard. This is not a sticker down here. So this is gonna hold up a little bit better, but you do kind of have to worry about it getting wet. Just an FYI, but it also means that you can change this out if you don't like this pattern. You just take it off. Same thing with the wallpaper. Um, and so now we're going to put in our, uh, our bathroom floor, which we have this little piece right here, which is our divider. And then we just go like this, oh, dang it. a little tricky to get this on, in my opinion, Ugh, there we go,
Again, this is just taped on this tile. It's a uh, piece of cardboard. So again, really nice to not have to uh, worry about that. And we've got our third floor, which we do have a little notch cut in for that piece. wrong way that's why get y'all in here oh, okay so this part does not stick in real well uh, unfortunately but it does secure once you've got that top roof or the top layer on there and so there's no uh, window frames up here on the top level it's very cute though I do love the fact that these different colored floors are inserts because you can use um, oh gosh what's the, what's the word for it the uh, shelf liner and just rewrap these pieces and completely change the way your uh, your room looks. Again, we've got a couple more of these little uh, little lamps if they want to go in. There they go. These are a little firmer, but I think that's because there's not as much of a gap in here for the. Uh, to make a vacuum. Again, I'm gonna fix this in a bit, but I'm not, uh, I'm actually gonna see if I can get this one, because they might just be slightly different sized. Well, this is just a nice, firm, connection right there um, so we do have that that is the other side of the house put together and then what we do next is we're going to attach these together like this And there we've got our connected part. It's very cute. I like it. Uh, it does sit flush. And we're about to add some other stuff on here because there is still a side porch. So we do have our little pieces like this to snap on and then we've got a couple more of these to stick in there which these go right there and right there and then We've got a couple of these okay. so under here we do have little hooks right there to hang our swings to attach these first should make sense
are going to do is try to get these in as tight as we can because it does have four little slots that it slits into. And then we're going to take this one off the bottom and try to get it all into. And now we do have our little tension connector right there, which doesn't pull entirely flat, but it gets pretty close. And so we're going to do a little bit of this. We've got some of this white picket fencing, really. I was hoping this was largely assembled inside. I was wrong. But it's still not super difficult to put together. I haven't needed any tools so far, which I always appreciate. And so that is what it looks like right there with our porch. And so now we've got that. So our farmhouse is actually fully assembled now. So let's get it open and show you guys inside. So this is what I mean when I had to clear out all of my Rainbow High stuff and it took me a hot minute because there's no, there was no way to open this fully inside here. Um, so the next thing that we have to do is we do have to get all of our stuff open so we can put our furniture in. But actually the last step on here is the curtain rods, which we have right here wrapped up. So we are going to open these. Not sure exactly how we're going to get them out without breaking them. I may have to snip this bag. Okay, there we go. All right. So we do have four different sizes of curtain rods, unfortunately, y'all. Um, let me see if I can get y'all back in the viewing range where I can actually see it as I'm showing it to y'all. Now that I've got this. Um... Okay. So as you can see, we do have four different types. Let me break them open. Or uh, not break them open, but spread them out so you guys can see the different sizes that I'm talking about. But we are looking forward to getting some of these hangers put up. So it does look like we only have, uh, and we do have this handy dandy map of where all of the curtain rods are supposed to go, with A being the shortest. So A and A are both gonna go under here, which I'm gonna actually, that's our living room. Let me grab the curtains that are supposed to go in that living room. So I am gonna do this in one fell swoop, just to show you guys, because I do have all of the curtain packs. Um, so living room is supposed to have these uh, very cute curtains. Again, they just pop over like this and like this. And then it's going to be two per rod. Let 
because they go on either side of the window, even though these curtains are way big enough to cover just the one curtain. So that's how they look when you stick them on the curtain rods. Uh, so those little rubber bands that came with the, with the sets, you are probably gonna wanna use those. just to make sure that we got all of these uh, windows showing. Uh, these are a little bit too, um, too stiff at the moment. So you are gonna wanna like stick them in these little uh, rubber bands probably. Otherwise they're gonna completely cover your windows So let's do that real quick. Okay, so we've got our windows like that. And now let me get a better look at how these hook in. Okay, so they are just little, oh, sorry, my, sorry, my phone came off its little hanger. Uh, so there are just little like hooks under here right along the um, right along the ceiling that you just sort of snap them into there are two on one side and then um, one on the other and they can sit like that so again, it's very cute. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another one of those and make it part of me wants to just put the rubber bands on before, but I don't think that would work as well. Because what you want is that ruffled pattern that comes from these being interspersed. Okay. So this might take me a little longer than I thought because these are a little tedious, but they're still very cute. And curtains are the eyelashes of a room, right? <laughs> And then we've got this one. I'm realizing I'm not really on screen right now. Okay. It's a little bit better. So again, that's how these little curtains look. And then we just sort of swoosh them off to the side as we can and try to get them clicked in. Okay, so that's how those go in there. A little bit difficult to get them in there. Uh, B is our next one that we have, our next width. And there is one B that's on the side window that's not the door. So it's a little bit longer, so we should have a little bit more room to work with our curtains. But I've had these curtains now and I'm putting these stupid cur curtains up. Uh, they are cute. They're not super complicated as far as a pattern. Like if you had a hole punch, you could probably make these curtains yourself if you want to change up the uh, decor. It's just a basic little uh, pattern. Okay, see, like that. And we've got another one over here. Okay. 
Okay, and there we've got our cute little uh, curtains. They're gonna flare out on their own. And then again, what we're gonna do is we're going to try to get one of these on and then the other one. And then we're gonna slide these curtains off to the side so we can do that, yeah. And see, we've got cute little curtains in our rooms now. I may actually have to move this closer because you can't really see as much as I want you to. Um, but that's where those go. And then again, we've got our bathroom over here, which these curtains are a part of. And we have our kitchen curtains right here. But there's only two curtains per these. Oh no, there's six for the, uh, these may be for the kitchen actually. I think these are for the bathroom. Let me double check that on our box to the show them. Okay, yeah. No? Okay, yeah. All right, that's why. All right, so they only have two of the curtains up in the kitchen. That's why. So the C's, these are our two that are unlike the others right here that go into the kitchen. I'm going to try to put up all of this, all these curtains in kind of one fell swoop. Um, just to keep us moving forward in the same path. Because it's easier to get these all on at the same time while I'm already uh, taking things off. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is supposed to be this one. I've only got four curtains on this back. And again, we're gonna just try to get our curtains. Like that. And then our next ones. And we go like this on the back one. These are not the easiest to get on, just FYI, unless you are really under there, which I may have to just flip these on. I may have to just flip this whole thing on its back do that because of the porch. So what I'm gonna do is my best. <laughs> Sorry y'all. As I've mentioned in the other Honeybee Acres videos, I have very large hands and this is a little bit difficult for me. Okay. those windows on and now we're gonna put our other windows together 
or other curtains together on our C bars. I do like how the windows are not all the same size because it is more realistic because it's, you know, different architectural features. It is a little frustrating that the bars are all different and that there's different sized bars in the same room, but I would rather it look like a really good, uh, really good design than worry about whether or not it's going to uh, match with everything. So normally my OCD would be like these bars on all the same size, but when it comes to window dressings and architecture, I take a momentary leave of absence from my neuroses because sometimes it looks a little bit bigger. And like I, like I always say, God never built in straight lines. Okay, this one. look good yeah okay all right and then we do have to put one of the B bars in here in the center yeah there is a little curtain rod holder again if I were to buy duplicates of any of these sets I could uh, trim the curtains to be like over the sink balances. Wow, this is really difficult when you've got giant fingers. Uh, so dads maybe don't help put this together if you can avoid it. Because <laughs> this is a schlegamasha. did not want to go on there very well okay Whew. so much effort right there okay we've got another B that goes over here in a room that we don't have any uh, curtains for we've got D our longest one a little bit easier to do it on the second level where I can actually see where the curtain rods are, where the rod holders are. Um, so there's no curtains for this room yet uh, because it's just not where they are. Where does this other B go? I put that B. It looks like I may have an extra B. Oh no, there's a B over here, that's why. Okay, so there's two in the kitchen that don't have a, that don't have curtains yet.
guys, if y'all are doing this uh, at home, I might actually put the curtain rods in before you put the floors in. Just to make your life a little easier, because it is kind of a pain in the butt to get those angles, because they, they are right on top of that wall. Like, they are, there is no room in the middle of that. Um, okay, so what we do have is three of the bathroom curtains now. So we're going to go like this, this, try to get these ruffles before you pull them or before you, uh, before you get these all. Tied off. I mean, you can leave them open, or you can leave them drawn, but I think you're missing out on the fact that these windows are big and open, and you get really a 360 house view. Because unlike a lot of doll houses, this one closes up and becomes a full house that you're not really seeing any bad angles from. The fact that there's no plastic in these windows also means it'll photograph better, I think. But. There's our first one. I'm getting a little better at this. Sorry about this, y'all. This, <laughs> this is really adding on time. Because I know we're already at about half an hour. I swear, the next part should go really easy because it's just putting the furniture where it belongs. Uh, <laughs> so, after we get these curtains hung, then it is all fun and games. Okay, we got one on. Only three more to go. We are halfway there, y'all. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> I didn't have these curtains already uh, this would be a much quicker video but the fact that I do already have these curtains means I have to put them up because otherwise you are just not getting the full picture okay so we've got these and now I'm going to I'm going to take this roof off real fast. <sighs> so this will immediately aid in my hanging of the curtain rods. <laughs> like that is great right there. And because these floors come off so easily, I honestly would recommend doing that. Just put your curtain rods on before you put your floors on. Make your life a little bit easier as you're not trying to get into those angles. Um, again, if you want to create new curtains, just take these curtain pieces and some fabric and line them up to the same size and uh, use just like a fabric hole punch. because you will be able to change up your rooms. Again, these designs on the floor, your tiles, are just cardboard that's laid down. So if you wanna change it up, make sure to hold on to those pieces or just do the same thing, cut some cardboard uh, or some uh, shelf liner to the same size and just stick it, you don't even have to stick it, you could just set it in there and tape it down. But, okay. All right, there we go.
and you hear that nice click and that's settling in. So we've got all of our curtains in now and the rooms that they were designed for. And that is the end of our actual assembly. So everything for this farmhouse is now assembled. All of our instructions are complete. We can take these and move them out of the way. And then at this point, we are just going to place all of our pieces. So we do have our little sofa. We've got our toddler bed, which is wide enough for two, it looks like. And we've got our big brother bed or our big sister bed. We've got our staircase, which does just like hook onto one of these floors, wherever you want to put it. So I don't know how you're supposed to actually um, store that. I guess just take it off if you want to fold it back up. But again, we have a we have a toilet. I think it's the only thing that comes in our bathroom. Little bedside table, and we've got our flower boxes. Now our flower boxes are not pictured as in the windows. They are pictured as hanging off of our balcony, which I kind of like that idea. You know, you go out, there's some flowers hanging in the basket, and I will do a full 360 of this as soon as I get everything in its place. Um, but again, nothing is locked in to where it has to go. Uh, we've got, this could be right here. I don't know how this is supposed to hook on. Oh. It's supposed to go around there, but there's tape holding that floor on. Like that. So that's our little ladder. Again, that's not going to stay on when we move all of our stuff around. That is purely for when it is open and displaying. Here are all of our little mattresses and things. Okay, so we've got our uh, big kid mattress. Goes right here, right there, yeah. I think that one was up there. And we've got our little kid mattress. Again, it's very cute. And that was up there. We've got our grown up mattress right here. This is a really wide double bed. Like, I really appreciate how wide this double bed is. And it goes over there. Uh, we have a couple of different blankets and things. Uh, these are our pillows for the master bed. Again, with these pillows, they do not lay right with these tags, and I really wish they had not put them on. Uh, so I chop them off just to make them lay right. And then these go over the side. Uh, we've got our yellow blanket that goes up there. And there's this little red blanket red pillow that goes up there on that bed, supposedly. Uh, and then this goes on our uh, swinging bench, which we're gonna do in here in a second. 
this goes over the side of the couch. But again, these blankets are not gonna lay real well unless you have some pressure on them. Uh, again, these pillows with the, uh, these pillows with the tags bother me just a little bit because it just seems unnecessary. So you know what, I'm not even going to bother putting this blanket over the back of this couch because it's just one more thing that doesn't want to sit right. Um, and then this pillow goes with our swinging bench on the porch, or porch swing, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm trying to put everything in the spot where it is located on the box art. And again, you can put your furniture wherever you wanna put it. That is the beautiful part of this. Um, these two chairs and the, um, and the dining room table are really nice. Uh, so yeah, they are very cute. I think this one is also part of the swing set, or the swing. So this must go in the, um, in the baby bed up there. And then we've got our toilet that goes right there. And now let's open the swing and attach it. So what we have right here is we have some swings, as we have a swing that's got some hooks. And you're gonna hook them on like that. Again, here on the other side. I do like that they are in different directions so you're not as likely to have it just kind of flop off. And then it goes This, I don't know if I can get you. I can't really get you in the, uh, in the frame. Okay, so if you can see it, it's right there. I just don't have the proper space really for this setup. This is a really big set. Just FYI, if it's not folded up, it takes up a lot of room. So just know that. So that's what our swing looks like. And then we put our little, um, our little cushion in there. Again, actually I think it's supposed to go in this way. Yeah, that looks all right. And then we've got another little pillows for either side. And it's very cute. And again, we have our little blanket that didn't really want to go somewhere. Um, and we have Grandpa, and he can sit wherever he wants because it's his house. Um, here are those flowers I was telling y'all about. They are set up over here. Uh, and this is what it looks like if you try to close it with that ladder inside. It's really gonna make it. It's really gonna make that space. But just to get that off, all you're gonna do is go like that, and then it should close back up nice and neat. Nice and neat like that. Yeah. And then, so your ladder and your stairs are not real helpful if you're gonna keep it closed. You got to find a place to put those inside. Um, 
but they are very, this is a very cute set. Just like, in general, I love it. Um, if you don't have the stairs, this uh, living room down here is huge. So what I'm gonna show y'all is how I'm gonna place some of these, uh, some of these pieces that I have. So I think first, I'm gonna place the fireplace over here in the center of the master bedroom because there's just not a good space for it down here. Um, and then we've got our kitchen, which we're gonna put the fridge. We've got our vanity, which can go right there. Again, you don't really want to block all of that area. Uh, the toilet is the same, pretty much. Let's look at the difference in these toilets. This one has a bit of a lip, and it's, yeah. So this one is slightly better than the one that comes in the bathroom set. So I'll put that there. And then we've got our tub, which is our little claw foot. And we'll put that right there. And again, remember you've got your little behind the toilet cabinet also. And there's also a rug that comes with that, but I didn't want to mess with that. Now we've got our little baby high chair. It does match the, um, it does match our kitchen chairs, which is nice. And I've got a, another little armchair over here that I'm gonna worry about. And we've got some plants that we're gonna put over there. And we're gonna put the, actually we're gonna put this TV over here. It's our only wall without a window on it. My only problem with some of these uh, accessories is that they are not, um, they're not really movement friendly. So again, we're gonna put this dining room stuff over here. We're gonna put this stove right there. And we do have our little uh, reading lamp right there. I'm gonna move this over here. And again, remember I have my sofa that came with the living room set in the sunshine or the sunflower cozy cottage. And so we've got our little thing right there. Remember we have this, which is our clock which I think is gonna go right over there. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to take this off, but I'm gonna do it gently. Okay, and we got that right in the middle, thank God. I did not want to take that off and deal with that. I'm gonna put this little plant right there. We've got our little candlesticks up here for some romantic ambiance with our parents' bedroom. We've got our little uh, rug for in here. And we've got our runner for the, uh, for the kitchen. So I'm gonna put that right there in front of that stove. And so that's where we've got all of our furniture. Now, as you can see, I didn't take that much out of here. I took the sofa and the coffee table that were from the dining, from the living room set. 
and some of the accessories, which I'm actually gonna move some of these accessories back in here just to eat up some of the space. But it's still very cute. Now we do have an extra toilet now, which is a little weird to have an extra toilet, but, and actually, I don't know if this is actually gonna fit better on this wall. Uh, no, that's gonna fit better over here. The problem with this is I don't wanna put this mirror right in front of one of our windows. But look at all the space that we still have left over. And that's all the furniture packs that are out right now. So we have uh, a lot of room still. Like you can put, you could probably, if I was gonna buy duplicates of anything, it would be the, uh, the living room set. But I am not entirely sure where I would put things if I was doing that. So let's put our mama in that bed up there. We've got our kiddos up there. We'll put them all in their bedroom, just hanging out. We've got a baby up here for the bed. And the other baby is down there in the high chair. We've got another little brother right there. And like I said, we got Grandpa. Now his glasses are on uh, just a little bit of really kind of weak elastic, which is a little upsetting. And like I've mentioned before, these legs are really stiff. So you got to kind of break them in and it does feel like you're going to actually break them. Uh, I don't recommend actually breaking them because you just wasted money then, but they are very cute. And for $10 a pack, they're not bad. Again, let me show you all that. <laughs> Her dress was on the wrong side. Uh, which I find kind of funny because her head was just turned backwards. Uh, but that's how her dress is supposed to look. Uh, we'll put her there. Them. And let's take some more of our baby stuff that we've gotten and put it in there. Because we do have a rocking horse that we can put up there to eat up some space. And a wagon that we could put over there for toys. And there's still lots of room in this area. Like, let me just take y'all off the stand and show y'all. So we still have Nobody posed on our porch swing. Our whole porch open, if we were gonna put anything else on there. Uh, about half of this floor area open. A good chunk of that space open, if we were to get another uh, dining room set. This whole area is just waiting for all of those uh, playground things. And we've got still some more room over here. We've got our bathroom, which has still got a lot of room. There's room to pose people. And that kitchen right there. We've still got another chair open. We've got our, we've got our fridge, our sinks, our stoves, our runners. All of our curtains are hung up. Again, we have that whole area. And that is what it looks like, y'all. Like, this is a hard to find set just based on my own experience. Let me stick y'all back in the holder and I'm gonna give y'all a 360 of this while it's closed. 
I'm going to try to make it to where nobody falls over, but something will probably fall over. Okay, so here we go. We've got our upper level and our lower level. There is a little latch that we have that we can hook that's supposed to keep everything closed. There's our front door. Again, you see those sunflowers. Got those really pretty deck detailing. You can see into the windows to see everyone. Again, our top floor does not have any uh, windows on the back. Oh, that's not gonna work, sorry y'all. Nope. I really cannot find, this place is so big that I'm having to hold the camera to show you guys just because there's no space. See those pretty flower boxes? And these flower boxes could hitch on to any of the windows, really, if you wanted to do that. Uh, that's just where they're posed on the box art. You could make them, well, not kitchen windows, because these are much wider frames down here, but any of the upper floors, it looks like. But I'll just stick them right there for now. But yeah, and there is also this latch up here that closes to keep it locked. It's not the most secure of things, but it's very cute. Like, I am not mad at this set. Again, it's $50, $49.99 at Walmart. Um, and I think it's worth it. Because you do have room to grow if they release some more furniture packs or if you want duplicates like you've got room to grow you could easily pose all of the families in here if you wanted to and it is very cool like but this is going to take up some room y'all just like fyi because it is big like moto moto big But yeah, and again, we've got our little uh, our little stairs, if we want to put our stairs in. I'm not sure how I got that to stay on last time. Okay, so it just sort of snaps on like that. And then again, we do the same thing over here. And that's, everything that comes in it. Again, I did take the toilet out because the other bathroom set came with a toilet, but that means that you can put your toilet in the, um, you can put the toilet in your sunshine cottage, in your uh, sunflower cottage if you want. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, I, again, I did pick this up at Walmart for $49.99, and it's called the Busby Farmhouse. The last time I checked, it was sold out online, which I'm still a little mad about because this is a really cool set, but it is a great set to have. If you find it at your Walmart, uh, grab it for Christmas. Uh, just hold on to it because I don't know if they're going to restock or if there's going to be a wave two. But this is what replaced Calico Critters. So I think it's here to stay for a while. So yeah, that's what we got. We've got all of our bunnies in here right now just because that's the family that I wanted to put in because that's who came with the, with the Busby Farmhouse. Uh, let me just show y'all 
how big this is compared to the cottage. Like, we've got that right there. And then I have the sunshine cottage, or the sunflower cottage. Like, y'all are not getting the real scope. So that is the sunshine. That is the Sunflower Cottage, and that is the Busby Farmhouse. Just look at the difference in size between these two. Now, this one is double the price. This one is double the price of this one. But still, like that, like you're getting two extra floors and the other half. So this is really like quadruple the space. So it's a great deal if you find it. Now, there are not as many exterior details like there is with the cottage, with the ivy on the roof. Uh, but this is huge, and for $49.99 is a great deal for what you're paying for. So that's the size comparison, if you guys wanted to see. I do pretty regularly find the uh, sunflower cottages, so I may pick up another one to make it like a neighborhood but I haven't decided if I'm keeping this or if I'm giving all of these to my niece when she turns three this year. But yeah, this is a really cool set. Again, Walmart, these are where you find these guys. Uh, so the only thing that I don't have now is the general store and a couple of the babies, which I'm probably gonna pick up uh, in a couple of weeks because I'm not too terribly concerned about the general store. And the other babies are more just to complete the set. So thanks for watching. This has been Disney D Prints. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you liked it, drop a like. And as always, subscribe for more fun unboxing videos. Be safe, y'all. Bye.